Let's learn how to break apart numbers to subtract. Let's do the first example, 75 minus 12. To do this, we break apart 12 into 10 and 2. This makes the problem easier to solve. On the number line, we highlight 75 and we subtract 10 because that's the first number. 75 minus 10 equals 65. Then we take the second number. 65 minus 2 equals 63. 75 minus 12 is equal to 63. Let's try another example. 75 minus 18 is equal to. First, we break apart 18 into 10 and 8. Because 8 is bigger than 5, it's harder to subtract, so we break it up into 5 and 3. We break it up into 5 and 3 because 5 minus 5 is going to be easy to solve. Then we take our number line and we subtract 75 minus 10. 75 minus 10 is equal to 65. Then we take the second number. 65 minus 5 is equal to 60. Lastly, we take our last number, which is 3, and we do 60 minus 3, which is 57. Our answer is 57. 75 minus 18 is equal to 57. Let's try another example. 43 minus 17 equals. First, we break apart 17 into 10 and 7. 7 is greater than 3, so it's harder to subtract. So we break it up further into 3 and 4. 3 minus 3 will be easy to do, which is why we break it up like so. Then we take the number line. We label 43 and we subtract our first number, which is 10. 43 minus 10 is equal to 33. Then we take our second number, which is 3. 33 minus 3 equals 30. To finish the problem, we subtract our last number, 4, from 30. 30 minus 4 equals 26. Our answer is 26. 43 minus 17 equals 26. Let's try another one. 56 minus 18 equals. First, we break apart 18 into 10 and 8. 8 is greater than 6, so we break it down further. We break down 8 into 6 and 2, because 6 minus 6 will be easy. Then we take our number line, and we mark 56. Then we subtract 10, which is our first number, from 56. 56 minus 10 equals 46. Then we take our second number, which is 6, and we subtract it from 46. We get 40. To finish the problem, we subtract our last number, 2. 40 minus 2 equals 38. Our final answer is 38. 56 minus 18 equals 38.